10 types of couples that suck. This is according to thoughtcatalog.com. We're going to break it down, but first thoughts, five words or less. Single because, which is a hashtag. Give me a break up. Relationship. <laughs> Just Dane Cook. <laughs> it's not mine. Coordinating outfits at wedding couple. Have you guys noticed this? I go to a lot of weddings, at least I have been as of recent. I feel like everybody around me is getting married. And there's always in a wedding a few couples that are coordinated. The girls. Like not the bride and groom. No! The girl's dress and the guy's suit. So wait, so not the bridal party. No! What? Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Okay, yes. okay, girl. Okay. I get it. <laughs> okay, so we have the PDA couple. So here it's described, we all know the PDA couple, but here it says, uh, it's pretty well known that if you're overdoing PDA, you're probably overcompensating for something in your relationship. Mm. I am okay with the PDA couple. I Gosh. say enjoy it while it lasts. Ah! Because once that relationship goes a couple years down the road, it may not happen so much. So yeah. enjoy that now. It's not the PDA that bothers me. I think it's like when you can hear noises. <laughs> like that's when I like, mm, no thank you. I think you. that there's a, a line. I like, I like to see a couple happy in love and like, you know, but to be full on making out at a table, I think, is, I think it grosses me out. Just oh, saying, sorry. So Hello, germs, spit, mucus. Old bits of food. The next one, the drama couple. Hmm. So fighting all the time, Take making that. a big deal out of everything. Yep. Save the drama for your mama. And it's uncomfortable, <laughs> right? Yeah. To be around that couple, it's really uncomfortable. Those are the couples that always go around saying, we hate drama. <laughs> <laughs> what about the really mean to each other couple? I feel like I'm always the third wheel to that type of couple. <laughs> it's really weird to just be sitting there and ha like just be part of this fight and then be like, all right, I'm gonna go on Instagram now. Because it's one thing if they have a little feud, it's another thing if right. you hear them they saying so some like mean. biting remarks, right. right? Like, your penis is small. <laughs> <laughs> was that said to you recently? So or? many times. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. The oversharing couple. You see them saying how much they love each other on Facebook or posting pictures of each other on Instagram. That's the worst, like the pick stitch of like every aspect of your relationship, like I don't, I love you, baby, so much. No, it's the caption that bothers me. Yeah. So I like the photos, but when it's like, I and it's like this long yeah, about yeah. how much they're madly in love, I'm like, really, just go to the next room and tell them that. The best is the captions where they spell things wrong, but they're like still talking about how much they love Bay. Uh, they can't go anywhere without the other couple. Yeah. Couple. Mm -hmm. That's every couple. Like, I feel like every one of my friends, whenever they get a girlfriend, they're like, dude, we were going to go watch a movie. Why is your girlfriend here? This is weird. We're all guys, and you're here with your girlfriend. Yep. What about much. the jealous couple? So this is the couple that's like extremely jealous. Like sometimes you, you might be going out, and the other one sees them talking to somebody else, and then it causes like a little rift. But then they kind of like it. They think it's like kind of charming, like it's a display of affection that the other pe person cares about them so much. Those are the couples that are secretly into cuckolding. If you guys don't know what that is, that's watching. No, I don't. Okay, it's a what porn it? terminology for uh, people that want to watch their partner uh, get taken by someone Oh yeah, else. I just actually covered something like this. Okay, okay. so I, I, that's what it's called. Your yeah. The we have so much sex couple. What about that couple? I love that couple. Yeah. Like I said, enjoy it while it lasts. Well, the author of the article thinks it's similar to the to the couple that is like a PDA, almost like they're trying to overcompensate for something. Yeah. Perhaps they're not having that much sex, so they feel like that they have to constantly brag about the great sex they're having. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have the competitive about their love couple. We get it. The two of you guys are the world's greatest couple. <laughs> this one makes me sad because we're usually just like insecure in the relationship. But I'm like, no, like love you, just love each other. You don't have to show it off. Just yeah. live it. Yeah. Initially, I got really annoyed with that when I saw it because I thought it was like the competitive against one another. No, no, you hang up. You, you, you. We have the childish couple. Uh, the couple is practically a walking repellent for most well-adjusted adults who would rather not die of secondhand embarrassment. So this is the couple that I guess is like constantly loud and saying childish remarks and farting on each other. I love this couple. I gotta say, I love this couple. I do. I think it's really sweet that you can find someone who, and you guys can embrace your inner child together. Okay. All right, the couple that is some or all of the above. So I guess some couples, unfortunately, are a hybrid. Yeah. A smorgasbord of a all these things. <laughs> which is not good. A smorgasbord, but I can say it my way, you right? Can say I can it say it my sure. way. Sure. Um, what about you? Okay, so 
Is it fair to assume we're all single here, except for Sam? Are you single too, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, so look at, yes. Are you and Mark, are you anything on this list? I don't know if we are. I mean, I, maybe you should tell me if we are. <laughs> okay. So I think you guys are a little bit of the child, not childish, yeah. but childlike okay. couple. Yes. I think Well, we've Mark never really farted really on each other. No, no, no. Never marry anyone you've had a farting contest with. <laughs> oh, great. So now you're saying Lily and I shouldn't even get married? Not to say no. that's wrong in other people's relationships, because if you do that, cool. I, I'm not into that, and thank God my husband isn't either. But I go ahead. I don't think that's what they meant. I think that's one of the examples, just to be funny. But yeah. I think the way you guys treat each other is so sweet and innocent. Thank and like you. the way Mark will go out of his way to like move a snail off the sidewalk yes. for you. That's very like a kid looking at the ground all the time. You thank know what I mean? You. So I do think yeah. you guys have that, which is nice. See, that's a compliment. Beep. Just saying. Beep, beep. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Wow. What do you guys think about this list? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you, Bree. Oh, and God. also, don't forget to check out our new Unseen episodes on Hulu every Thursday at 9. Thanks to our wonderful guest today. Yeah, the artist formerly known as Bro Tip Haas, and of course, Hannah Cranston. Woo! And we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger. <laughs>